Good afternoon, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Welcome to EXEL. Another great gap today. Again, it was just March Madness today for gaps. Gap after gap after gap. They were all over the place. And uh, here's another great one. Again, you say, gosh, you know, could I possibly even think this could go any lower? But the answer is it does. And it set the high of the day very early in the day and it never looked back. And this actually did go to the target and pass the target into the next target. And it's one of these ones where people want to look at this and they say that they want to buy it because it's going to fill the gap. This is actually nothing to do. Gap fills don't work. It's not a strategy. This is an event that's happening in the chart, which is the gap itself, which is a bearish gap. The chart closed the night before up here at 644 and opened the next day down here at 446. This is a bearish gap. And therefore, you short it and you rate it. And if it rains 20 points or more, then you short it. And it did rain 20 points. So you short it. <laughs> and the interesting thing is, when you look at the size of this bar, this is a big bar for this price point of the stock. Look, this is a massive red bar. Great entries in this too. Let's look at it here. I mean, the risk reward was all over the place in this. Could have, could have, could have been in this all day. Could have been in this all day. Could have been everything all day. But let's just go back and look. Really nice. Really nice here. Held the resistance. Rally. Boom. There you do it. And you could have been all out in here because it came down and got within five cents of the first target. And that is the trade. This is the money trade. Then it rallies back. And again, you're watching then to take it on the five or the 15 minute. And it's set up again in the five. Set up again in the five here. And set up again here on the five. And set up again in the 15. I mean, look at this. Now, this was a better entry, though, the five, because of the entry with the stop. It's not even late. I mean, actually, this hit here between 10 and 10.05, this is actually still early. And, and if you do this, you believe that it's actually going to break the low of the day. Because it really, you would do this to take it to break to the next number. Because it's, you know, you want to do this to get something going in it. Or you could have chunked it out to the low of the day. But really, if you take a trade like this, you want it to break the low of the day. It did. You had to hang on it to it, though, till the afternoon. But actually, if you short this here, you were never down. When it rallied back up here, retested and held, you were actually never down. So you could have shorted this here, took a little off. You could have got in here and added back, taken it down, and then you just let it roll over. I don't think I would have done an ad there at 115 because I just don't typically like to trade the afternoon. But you could have. You could have done it. But the morning trade is the trades that I prefer personally. But this thing just really rolled over, too. Ay, 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 ay. Beautiful move in this. I'd say let let this lie now. I mean, this is this is just the chart. It's broken here and it's lower, but I, I wouldn't look to go after this again tomorrow. I mean, it could, but, you know, the next target's really 375, so it's not that far away. Then 360, then 350. I mean, this eventually could go to $3. This is one of the things where you think, oh, it can't go any lower. It just can't. And then the bottom feeders start to come in to try to buy the gap to see if it fills the gap. It's not going to fill this gap. This is, you know, this is not the play to do. The play to do is the day in the direction of the trend, which is down, which is bearish, which was the play today. You do the trades with the momentum. Even though sometimes you can take, make money doing things against the trend, it's never the right thing to do. You will always make more being with the trend. You will get the better entries, the better risk to reward for the setups for the trains. You'll get more momentum and volatility, more volume, and then the power money people and the players that make the moves that create the actual trend. So playing against this would be not the right thing to do. It would not be a professional move. Today was a professional move and it was a short. Nice short here at EXEL. This is a golden gap. This is the system, the rating system that I teach and trade myself. And I teach a class on it. The next golden gap class is April 5th and 6th. And yes, this is the kind of trade where you don't even need a lot of money to take a good position in this because the price point of this stock is so cheap. So cheap. And look at the money you could have made in this today. Even with a sizable position. And it was a good entry. Nice risk to reward trade. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you're interested in more information on the next gap class, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.